Oh, so this is the car. Okay. This is the car. Nice. Okay, so Lisa, so, when you look at that, what do you see? Well, well, I think what's really interesting about this piece is that it works as an abstract piece. I mean, yes, it's the car, but it works as an abstract piece, and, and the use of light and shadow and kind of almost a monochromatic palette makes it so compelling. So was the artist thinking of all that when she snapped it? I don't know, and I'd be interested to know what the artist did from the initial snapping through the manipulation of the photo to get it where it is. Oh, yeah. You know, because... And the way it's centered, it gives it a religious feel. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's, it's, um, it's iconic. Yes, it is. Okay. So, Troy, what do you think of Primitive Vessel? Well, it's, it's Vessel, the definition is it could hold something like water or... Uh, maybe it could. Uh... She didn't skimp on the holding part. I mean, you could actually hold quite a bit in or there. Or you could put marbles in there or whatever. But uh, uh, I get where they're coming from. This is one of the most primitive like tools that you could use. Um, and I like how she used the mixed medium of the. Uh, it looks like raku with uh, wood. Yeah, it makes it the primitive meets something more contemporary with the. Um, surfaces here and also she used Stamp. some really interesting like iconography that you can probably sort of um, put your own imagination into right she's used all kinds of 3d elements yeah. here the wire the wire absolutely. wrapped around absolutely the only way I think you could get that color is through Raku and the fact that she got it to come out that color is pretty uh, pretty rare to come out that vibrant it's also really interesting seeing it now as opposed to an hour ago, because an hour ago when the sun was coming in more, you could the surfaces just popped even yes. more than they're popping now. Uh, um, I, I that, totally that, agree. It needs to be displayed with that kind of angular light because mm -hmm. it's so it's really so a little skillful. spotlight it really brings out the colors. Yeah. Where would you guys put that in your home? This would probably be the center piece to the dining room table, or yeah, it could I was be um, dining room. Uh, if you have like a showroom, you could uh, you could put it in there. The uh, interior uh, looks. You could hang this. You could. You, you could, could hang, hang it. this. That would be kind of interesting. You, have a, you, could, you could have right? one on each side of the fireplace again. It would be a little metal rod coming out. And you could hang it on it. Yeah, that's a great idea. You, you have to be very brave, though. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, again, you have the pretty much symmetry. Uh, high contrast, white to black, we got all the different um, tonalities, 10, 20, 30, 40 percent grays, all the way up to 100. And those big eyes, how could you not be drawn to that? You're drawn in by both the skillfulness of the piece and the character of the piece, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. Wow. And the cool. fact that a lot of students yeah, they have a little trouble with getting that 100% black, but here it's skillfully used and they're not afraid of it. And unafraid to leave the white white, which is also another another thing. So you have this, everything is a shape, everything is so pure. Here you have highly expressive flowing lines, and here you have a stippling of more yeah, specifically really pointillism, and uh, it really... Uh, catches your attention, especially from an artist viewpoint. And for also, just as a character, mm -hmm. this sort of, you feel like you're catching her mid, mid saying, yeah. mid speaking, right? There's in a the story behind the, the right. picture. And you're right in the middle of it when you see this picture. So right in the middle of the story. And it captures the viewer in that story. Yeah. Well, what do you think the story is, Lisa? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the story uh, is, but the story is... Someone's trying to hurt art, and she says, no. <laughs> No, I mean, I think what's interesting is that we can't know the story. We can only place ourselves with it, but we you can't. Use your past what's wonderful experience. about this is yeah. that it's not telling us too much. It's inviting us in to make our own story. And isn't that what art's all about, right? Where so we true. meet the piece. It isn't, it isn't an explanation of something that could be done in words. It's asking us to make the story. And I, I love this.